Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Raha Kadash, to the honesty of the apostles, elders, and prophets who are pushing his word and sincerity and the truth and risking their lives and freedom to do so. To the hopeful elect and to the uh, confusion of faith that they are joining to our ranks and to the Akim and Aqua, I listen and learn. And to you, I say, Shalom. Uh, the title of this lesson is Suffering for uh, for Yahweh, shall I say. And in this walk, you know, when, you, when you're when teaching them, teaching the truth out on highways and byways and and also you're making lessons, you're going to be hated for uh, for Yahweh, shall I say, because of, because of the truth. And the scriptures talks about, uh, you know, some some uh you know you know, where the prophet got put to death for the for the sake of the truth. And you have to understand that being in this walk is not an easy task. It's not all fun and games. You know, but there's a benefit, there's a reward at the end, you know, for those who remain faithful in in Yahweh, you know, remain faithful to do the work. And the scripture says that the race is not given to the uh, strong nor to the swift, but to those who endure to the end. But, you know, you have to do it to the end in, in spite of, uh, you know, you're going to have, you know, people that's going to laugh at you, going to scoff at you because of, uh, you know, you, you uh, teaching the truth in, in, uh, in name of uh, your house, you know, it's, it's a... You know, it's a beautiful thing because uh, to suffer in the, you know, to suffer for the sake of Yahweh Shah. Uh, also, the scripture, scripture also say that, you know, the sufferings in this lifetime is not compared to the, to the glory which is to come. You know, we got to suffer in this walk. We got to suffer in this truth. You know, mainly the people that, uh, you know, mainly the people that, that uh, give us the most suffering, you know, it's our own people. Because even, even Yahweh I had to go through that. He, you know, he said in the scripture, a prophet without, and not without honor, you know, in his own country. You know, among his own kin people, you know, even your own family won't respect you when uh, you bring the truth of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> yeah, you know. In First Peter uh, chapter five verse one, read the elders which are among you I exhort, who am I also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Yahusha, and also a partake of the glory that shall be revealed. Right, you know Peter, you know he had to suffer for this truth. You no, know, he he suffered just like all the other uh, apostles and elders had to suffer, because being in this walk is not an easy task. You know, especially you know you went you out there witnessing to to uh, Jake, and also you out there you also you witnessing among your own family members because you're gonna have some family members you're gonna have some that's gonna listen, and you're gonna have some that's gonna mock and call you crazy and and all this other all this other mess, but at the same time as being you know being faithful in in your house shy, you're gonna go through you're gonna go through a lot. You know, the scriptures also tell that, tell that, you know, uh, how shall I say, you know, the, the world, the, the world hate you because they hate me. Let me see if I can get that scripture to talk about, you know, the world, you know, hate, you know, the world hated, you know, uh, your house shy. You know, it, you know, let me look that, look that up real quick. You know, like it was, um, you know, just doing this all, all, you know, off the spirit, and you know, I don't have a lot of everything uh, set up. You know, um, she like it, but I'm still trying to look for that scripture. Okay, I think I got it. I think it's John 77, Saint John 77. Let me see if it's there real quick. This, you know, doing this out the uh, spirit, I'm, I don't have nothing set up. You know, John, uh, John 77, it said, it says, The world cannot hate you, but it hated me because I testified of it 
that the worst there of our evil, right? You know, the world hated Yahweh Shah, but because Yahweh Shah testified against the works of the evil works that have been done in this world. And, right, and you see that, it, that uh, you know, if you're being a prophet, you know, being, you know, being a man of the Lord that's teaching the truth on the highways and byways, and, and you know, uh, you bring out all the evil works that this world is doing, and the world going to hate you for it. Because you're testifying against the evil that it's bringing out. And another example I like to bring out is about Stephen. And, and let me get that in the book of uh, Acts real quick. Let's see. <sighs> Um, it's chapter 7, you know, you can read the whole chapter 7 when uh, Stephen gave the testimony, you know, about, you know, about, uh, you know, their history. But I'm going to go ahead and go down to verse 51. It reads, Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised and hard in ears, ye do already resist the Ruach HaKodesh, which the Holy Spirit, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of uh, the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they slain them with, with show before the coming of the just one, on whom ye have now, now the, betray, the betrayers and murderers. And, and who, in this, uh, like verse 53, who have received the law up by disposition, deposition of angels and had not kept it. In verse 54, this is, this is the point. It said, when they heard these things, they were, nas they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. You know, when you're teaching the truth to our, to our people, uh, basically into the world, and mainly our people, our people, when they get cut to the heart, they get upset because of the truth. Because uh, when you're teaching the truth, you know, you're going to run the people that's going to get upset. You're going to run the people that's going to cuss you out. They're going to call you all types of names. They, your name gonna be evil spoken of because you're bringing out the truth, and that's something that this world, it, you know, this world would not receive. You know, they won't receive the truth because they, because they worse the evil. But, but you know, if you are a man of the Lord, you know, and and the truth go for, and, you know, you true man of the Lord, you're gonna receive the truth. You're not gonna buck up against it. You're not gonna resist it because you know that this is the truth. And you know that the prophecies are coming to pass. You know, the, the prophecies are coming to pass and the truth is, 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 is gone forth. And you real men of the Lord, you know, you won't resist the truth. Just like, you know, I, just like our forefathers did. You know, just like our people are doing today. You got a majority of, of our people, which is black, Latinos, Native Americans. Majority of them, they resist the truth. You know, they're, they're ready to uh, hang on to this world, hang on to Babylon the Great, hang on to all types of madness, then then hear the truth. You know, the scripture also said that, uh, you know, scripture says that, uh, you know, let me get that real quick. You know, it was a prop. they don't want, they, they want us, they want to be prophesied, but they know our people. Let me get that scripture real quick. I'm going to have to look it up, see where it's at first. And then, you know, I'm going to get that scripture. And that's, you know, that's how, that's how a lot of our people is. They, you know, they, um, you know, they, uh, they want to hear smooth things. They don't want to hear the truth because they love to be lied to. Let's see. That's, uh, uh, okay. Isaiah 30 and 10. Okay. Gotcha. Uh, that's the scripture. Uh, Isaiah, uh, 30. Isaiah the 30th chapter and the 10th verse. You know, brother doing the lesson now, but, uh, but you know, I'm going to go ahead and finish out this lesson and then I'm going to take a look at the brother lesson later on. It said, uh, I'm going to start at uh, ver verse 9. It, You know, I'm going to start at verse 8. It said, Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book which is talking about the Bible, that it may be for the time to come and forever and ever. Verse 9, it said, This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which is talking about the Israelites. You got two-thirds are doing that today. Verse 10, this, 
you know, verse 10, it said, We said to the seals, See not, and to the prophets, Prophesy not unto us right things, Speak unto us smooth things, Prophesy the seeds. Verse 11 said, Get you out of the way, Turn aside out of the path, Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease before us. Well, uh, wherefore, this verse 12, wherefore thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon. Therefore this iniquity shall be unto you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in the high wall, who break and come and suddenly, suddenly at the instant. Right, you know, verse 10 is the point. It said, We said unto the seals, See not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things, right? You know, when you, especially, you know, our people, and you know, they love, they love to hear smooth things. You know, they, they love. That's why you have a lot of our people go to these Christian churches, and they love when the pastor, uh, you know, prophesy to them, talking about you got to bless them with your name on it. I know, <laughs> I know, your brothers quite heard that a lot when you was in them Christian churches. You know, they tell you, oh, you are gonna have bless them with your name on it, a money bless them with your name on it. And, you know, all this other madness, you know, they will never come out and tell you, um, you know, tell you that, uh, that uh, to repent and turn back to the uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Because, you know, they, you know, they, they like to uh, prophesy smooth things. That's why our people like to hear. They like to hear smooth things. You know, they like to hear. They like to be lied to. They rather be lied to than to, than to receive the truth. Because the truth is not in them. You know, the truth is not, you know, in our people, and especially not in the in the other nations. And and when you start preaching the truth, getting back on point, you start excuse me, like and you start telling the, our people to repent, you know, our people have a problem with that. You know, our people rebel and, and, and they harden their nets. And then they wonder why all this stuff is going on with them. And when you tell them the truth, they don't want to hear it. They, you know, they want to stay blind. They want to stay chained up to Babylon the Great. They want to, you know, stay in darkness. You know, and they and they go against the prophets. You know, that's another thing I don't understand about our people. You now, our people sit there, and and you got the prophets out there telling, them, you know, our people to repent and telling them if they repent, and get back to the ways, law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Then your house is going to deliver them up out of out of adverse, out of trouble, and 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 going to bring the kingdom down. When you tell our people that it's according to the scriptures, and you got the prophets out there that prophesying these things about Babylon the Great, and and they see it come to pass, and they seeing that it's things slowly come to pass. Our people will still sit back there, and they will go. They will go hardcore against the prophet. They will go hardcore against the men of the Lord because they hate the truth. You know, they hate this truth so much that they will go hardcore against the men of the Lord. Look, look, you know, look what they did to Yahweh, you Now, let me get that real quick. You know, they, I'm going to look at the scripture when they say they released, they won the Barabbas. Okay. Okay, this, here it is right here. Uh, St. Matthew chapter 27. We're going to start at the... Uh, block it, bro. We're going to start at the... Uh, okay, I'm going to start at the uh, 15th verse. It reads, now, there, now, there, now at that feast, the governor was wont to release a... Release unto the people a prisoner whom they would. You know, the governor talking about uh, Pontius Pilate. Verse 16. And they had, they had, and, lock it, brother. And they had then a notable prisoner called Barabbas. Therefore, when they gathered together, Pilate said, uh, said unto them, Whom will ye that I release unto you? Barabbas or Yahushua, who the, you know, who they call Hamashiach. And for they knew that for envy they had delivered him. Right, that verse talking about uh, the chief priests and scribes. You know they envy Yahushua because he was he was turned he was uh, uh, healing the people. 
you know, he was hitting them people. He was you know, doing miracles, and they envied that because they was afraid they were going to lose their office. But getting back to the point, you know, you know, uh, because of their envy, they delivered, you know, Yahweh shot how much she Verse nineteen, it said when he when when he was set down at the judgment seat, his wife sent sent unto him saying, "Had thou nothing to do with that just man? For I had suffered many things this day in a dream because of him." Right? You know, you know, the chief trying to tell Pontius Pilate, you know, don't have nothing to do with him because. I suffer a lot because of uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, don't have nothing to do with him. You know, basically, in a nutshell, let him go. And don't have nothing to do with it. But, you know, verse 20 said, But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahweh Shah. You know, look at the wicked chief priests, man, because Yahweh Shah told the truth. He, and he told them about their sin and about their mess and what they were doing. And so chief priests and scribes got mad and they had Yahweh Shah delivered up because because of what Yahweh Shah did, he exposed them for who they were. And he called them he called them out their names and, and basically he, he just basically he just exposed the uh the the chief priests and the scribes and they hated and they hated him for it. You know, just like you see today. You got the prophets exposing, you know, our people for their wickedness. And our people hate the prophets for it because of they know and now they got the faith. Uh, it's either they're going to have to change their ways, have to repent, or they're going to be destroyed. And a lot of our people, they already marked that they, they want, they'd rather be destroyed than to repent and change from their ways. But anyway, getting back to the point, you know, uh, Verse 21, it said, The governor answered and said unto them, Whether of the twain will ye that I release unto you? They said, Barabbas. And in verse 22, Pilate said unto them, What shall I do with, uh, what shall I do then with Yahushua, which is called Hamashiach? And they all said unto him, Let him be crucified. You know, that's the Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to skip down to verse 20, 25. And then they answer all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. You know what? I, I forefather made the dumbest decision ever. It's because of this verse right here. I'm going to read it again. They answer all the people and said, His blood be up upon us and, and on our children. That's the reason why we suffer heavily today. Not only because of, per, uh, of the curses, it's because our forefathers basically said that, you know, we know that we're killing a, a just man. But, you know, let his blood be upon us and our children because we 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 would have rather have a murderer in our presence than to have Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And that's basically how our people actions are today. Especially when you out there on the street corner, we out there doing YouTube lessons, you're prophesying and you're telling the truth about our, to our people about their sins, about their wrongdoings, and, 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 and our people, they, they, they will hate you for it. They, they will hate you for it because you're bringing out the truth. You're bringing out their wrongdoing. And, you know, especially in this day and age. And, and this is... And, and this is what they did to our Hamashiach. Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. This is what they did to our they, they what they did to our Savior. And they did this to him. And then, you know, how much more would would they do to the prophets? How much would they do to the men of the Lord? You follow me? These people would rather have Barabbas. Then to have Yahweh Shah. And that's how it is today. Our people, and, and I'm not talking about ones that are in the truth that serving Yahweh Shah, keeping law, statute, command to the best of your ability. I'm talking about the two third club. They would rather have Cesare Bulgaria than to have Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Because Cesare Bulgaria, which, you know, the world enemy calls Jesus Christ. 
well, you know, they, they think he's Jesus Christ. These people would rather have Cesar Ray Borgeria, the white Jesus, because white Jesus doesn't require them to give up their they sinful natures. They, it does, you know, Jesus Christ don't require them to give up their uh, they sinful ways. You know, the white Jesus Christ, you know, what the one that Christ, all Christianity believe in. And our people rather have that white Jesus Christ, the white Serge Ray Bulgaria, than to have Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Because Yahweh Shah Hamashiach requires us to repent, to change our wicked ways, to come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, and, you know, and to forsake forsake the ways of the world, forsake Babylon and all this doctrine. And when you tell our people that, and you give it to them straight out the scripture, you don't give your own interpretation. You give it, you give them, give it out the scriptures. You'll be hated for it. And let me say something else: the truth in your house, I came to the uh, the cause division. He did not come to bring people together. You know, he did not come to get everybody hugs and kisses and sing kumbaya, kumbaya and all that mess. When you hunt, when you house shot came down, he, he came down to bring a sword. He came down to bring the vision. You know, you see it in the scriptures. You know, even, even he said he came to set variance against uh, father against son and, and daughter against mother and father-in-law against son-in-law and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. You know, something to that effect. You know, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach came to set division. And the truth is going to cause division in the household. Whether you want to believe it or not, especially when you are in the truth and you're trying to keep the law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability, and you got your family member that does not want to have anything to do with the truth. You know, they keep the, they keep their religious holidays, they eat pork, shrimp, lobster. You know they still go to church on Sunday. They still, they they still have have, have them uh them barbecue and barbecue or uh, you know smoke sauce and their cookouts after church. Even they sit there and worship white Jesus and then they go have their abominable foods. They they you know they have that. And you trying to keep the law, statutes, and commandments, observe all the feast days according to the scriptures. You know the true cause division. And, and you will be hated for bringing out the truth. You know, the prophets are hated. Even Yahushua said in the scripture that, you know, he's going to require all the blood. That all the blood of the prophet that's been shed on the foundation of the earth. To the blood of, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zacharias. You know, who, whom, whom you slew between the, the pillar and the altar. You know, something to that effect. Because... I, you know, let me say this. When you are a prophet, a real man of the Lord, you know, you're going to have people that's going to come for your life. And, and it is what it is. You know, they came for, the prophet did not have it easy, especially going out there teaching the truth. When you, when you are on these highways and byways, you got you got to have a cover of your how by shimmy how shy on you. Because when you out there teaching this truth, and when you out there putting your life online, especially, you know, you teach a lesson on YouTube, you you, you going to have people that's going to hate you because you're bringing out the truth. You're bringing out straight facts. You're not shooting cold in the truth. you standing, you you defending the gospel. And that's what a lot of people hate. They hate when you defend the gospel. They hate when you defend the truth. Uh, okay, the scripture came, uh, I just, you know, the time to it. This, this is what I was talking about. You know, it had. You know, it's the spirit. You know, you know uh, uh, Saint Matthew twenty third chapter. It starting at the thirty fourth verse. <clears throat> uh, you know what? Let me. Uh, uh, let me start at verse twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, verse twenty nine. It said, "Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites!" Because ye be the tombs of the prophets, and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, and say, if we had not been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers 
of them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which kill the prophets. And here, here, re reincarnation. Verse 32, it, it reads, Fit up then the measure of your fathers, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. How can ye escape the damnation of hell? And when it's talking about hell, you know, referring to that again, it's not talking about you burning on the earth or all for eternity. It's talking about, it's talking about the conditions. But, you know, I already did a lesson on that already. But getting to the point, it said, Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues. And, pers and persecute them from city to city. And this is the point, verse 30, 35. It said that upon you may come all the righteous blood, righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zechariah, son of Bicchaeus, whom you slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. You know, we... Our people have slain, have, have slain the prophets. And, and you got our people still doing that today. You know, when it's talking about slain, it, it, and not only is talking about, you know, physically killing a prophet, you can slain the prophets with, with the words that are coming out of your mouth. With, you know, with all the false testimonies, with all the false uh, accusations you have against the true men of the Lord. You know, you slaying them with your words. You going on street corner, you mocking them. You talking about them, and, and and this is what it's talking about when you know when you are in this truth, you're gonna be hated. You know, I just read to you, your house, I made that very clear. That that our people would sit there and they and they slayed the prophets. You know, they slayed the true men of the Lord. They killed them. They gave them put to death. They had them put to the sword. Because they hated what they had taught. They hated when they when the prophet brought the truth and told them that if they didn't repent, they, you know, it's going to be destruction come upon our people. And, and, and it happened. Exactly the way that they said it. You know, it, it, it's what it is. And they did that, like I said, they did that to uh, Yahweh Shah. You know, like like I read before, they they said let his blood be upon us and our children. You got to be wicked as hell to kill off the savior. All because you didn't want to hear what he had to say. You didn't want to hear the truth. And you got our people today. They don't have a spiritual ear. And when I talk about spiritual ear, they don't have a spiritual ear uh, understanding of what the prophets is bringing out. And what, you know, you have your family member telling you that we're Israelites. You know, the black Latino Native Americans, we're Israelites. And we're the chosen people. You how about Hashem, you how Sha. And you got our people who laugh at you and call you crazy because you're bringing out truth. Or they call you crazy because you don't celebrate the pagan holidays anymore. Or they call you crazy because you don't go to church anymore. You don't worship white Jesus anymore. Uh, they call you crazy. You start, you start uh, participating in being an Islam or uh, Roman Catholic, whatever your religion is. Are uh, you, are uh, you, uh, stop being an atheist? Oh, uh, like I said, whatever your religion is, they call you crazy because you heard the truth and and you and you follow the ways of hum, uh, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, our people always hated the truth. What I mean by our people, I ain't talking about all our people. I'm talking about the two third club. The majority of our people hate Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. They hate them. And when you tell them the truth about what the scripture says, they come up with every damn excuse on on why they want to stay being a Christian. Or they want to stay in uh, Islam. Or they want to stay being in their religion. All because they hate the truth. They hate they hate they have to change their way. They hate they have to give up the things of this world to, you know, to walk and follow after Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. 
Deborah, uh, Reve- uh, not Revelation, but Zechariah 13 and 8 said two parts of our people are going to be cut off and die, but the third part is going to remain. Why? Why? Because two parts of our people, they when they heard the truth, they knew their ears were like, they knew they had to change the, their ways and, and who they were. You know, they refused to hear it. You know, they refused to hear the truth. And they want to be like the other nations. You know, they want to be like the other nations. And that reminds me of a scripture when, when, uh, when, uh, you know, Sam, when I believe Samuel, you know, something to that effect, you know, our people cried out they wanted a king. And, and Yahweh said, you know, Yahweh said, uh, go ahead and give him a king. He said, he told Samuel, they ain't reject you, they rejected me. You see? That's how we at our people, our people, they they hate order. Our people hate the truth. They hate they 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 hate to be they hate to walk in righteousness. I'm not saying all of them, but majority of our people, they hate righteousness. And you can see it in that you can see it in their actions. You can see it when the brothers are on the street corner teaching the truth. Uh, you can see it when when you got you got YouTube lessons warning our people to repent. Turn back to ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You got our people hate the truth. And what they do, they mock the prophets. They kill the prophets. And, you know, they kill anybody who bringing out the truth about their wickedness. And they quit to say, oh, you, 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 the only person who can judge me is Yahweh. Only God can judge me. You know, stop with that nonsense. Because the scripture said, you know, we're going to judge, we, we judge righteous judgment. Stop with the nonsense. Because I would rather have, I would rather have a brother to, you know, to, to call me out on my wickedness. And to, and to, uh, and by the spirit show me the error of my ways. That way I can get it right with you. How about show me how shy. Then to wait on you how to, to call me out for my wickedness. Let me say that again for you to understand it. You rather, and it made this very clear to you, you all. You all will rather, I'm telling you, you all will rather hear the men of the Lord and rebuke you for your for your wrongdoings and transgression and get it corrected right then and there on the spot. Then to wait and die and, and wait till Yahweh judge you and, and he put you to death. You know, when a man, Lord, tell you something and correct you, you know, you know, don't get all in your feelings. You know, ask, excuse me, ask Yahweh shall for forgiveness and get it correct right then and there. You know, our people need to stop, you know, stop, stop with the madness, stop hating. Stop hating on, on the men of the Lord because they're telling you the truth. You know, they, they, they care about you so much, they risk their lives and freedom to make sure that you get this truth. And you got a lot of ignorant-ass people out there don't want to hear what the prophet has to say. You know, that's a shame. That's a damn shame to be in hell in, in, this, in, the, in the awful-ass condition in Babylon the Great. Being in this awful ass condition, and we at the bottom, we can't get no type of love or respect in this damn place. And y'all ready to hang on to this bullshit. Then to be delivered, and then to listen to what the men of the Lord is telling you. They they breaking down scriptures. They breaking down YouTube lessons. They standing out on the street corner, risking they li- they lives and freedom to make sure you get the truth. And, and and you go hard against them, and you hang on them, but yet your damn pastor can tell you any bullshit thing, and you sit back and believe him. You don't go hard against him. Or Esau, even the so-called white man, he could tell you any damn thing, and you believe it. But you hate the truth. You hate the real men of the Lord that's out there pushing this truth, this 144% truth. They're out there pushing this truth day in and day out. Risking their lives and freedom. They they even I even seeing lessons lessons you got brothers, you know, on the work giving giving edification. 
talking about the fall of this place, the fall of Babylon the Great. But our people hate the truth, but they rather stay in their wicked ass ways. You know, your house child is going to destroy you. That's why Zechariah 13, 8 is going to come to pass. Two parts of our people are going to be cut off and die. Because two parts of our people hate to hear the truth. But you rather hang on to a damn lie. You rather hang on to the wickedness. Then to repent and turn back to the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. You know, death and destruction is going to come to you via thermonuclear missiles if the Most High don't put you to death already. I don't care you don't like me. It's about getting this truth. This is about waking up the hopeful let. It's about getting out this bullshit ass Babylon the great. Because uh, your house shall come back and he's going to destroy this place. And anybody join the hand with Esau, Edom, all the other nations, I'm talking about you wicked ass Israelites, guess what? You're going to get put to death too. Thus said the scriptures. Because you hate the truth. You hate you hate the truth. Just just as Stephen said in chapter 7. He called, he called them Israelites stiff neck and hard headed. He said you always resist the Ruach HaKodesh. You always resist the Holy Spirit. And that's how our people is today. You always resist the truth. But it's going to come a time. When, when all this shit going to go down. You know, the mark of the beast, which has already been implemented in, according to Revelation chapter 13. That's the RFID chip. They already put in their people. And, and a lot of you dumbass Jake's going to accept the mark of the beast because you ain't got the covering your house by shimmy out of shot to protect you from that. Y'all don't, y'all don't have no faith and no trust in your house by shimmy out of shot. And that's really why a lot of you dumbass is going to take the chip. You're going to take the mark. You're going to take the mark of the beast. And, and the real man of the Lord is going to stand fast in the faith. The, and, and the real man of the Lord is going to resist the, resist the mark of the beast. And the real man is going to stand fast in his truth. You best believe it. Because a lot, a lot of you wicked jakes are going to get put to death. A lot of you Israelites going to get put to death. Black, Latinos, Native Americans. You're going to get put to death because of your weakness. And all your damn prayer beads to Jesus ain't going to save you. Only the covering of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to save you. And that's if Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah chose you out from the foundation of the world. If he didn't, you're going to be destroyed. Tell our people, wake up. Stop resisting the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is coming in the world and he's revealing things left and right. You see in stores that are closing all over the world. You see in stores are closing here in the United States. But you people, you people think it's just all good. You send at ease. Get wait wait till you how about shimmy how shall start to make it uncomfortable for your ass. And and, and and because because you didn't heed the warning, what the prophet's trying to tell you. It's, it's lessons after lessons after lessons on YouTube. Lessons after lessons after lessons. You got brothers putting out lessons on an everyday basis. There's so many lessons that has been coming out. I can't even get to all the lessons. It's always a lesson out every day. It, then you got some brothers put lessons out around the same time. Like, Man, I wish I could get to all of them. They bring out some good edification. They bring out some good wisdom and knowledge and truth through the Holy Spirit. Through, through the Ruach HaKodesh. Warn our people. And let me tell you something. You know, our people hate the truth. Let me tell you something. Revelation chapter 7 is going to come to pass. You got them four angels uh, uh, holding the winds. And the reason why they ain't letting them winds loose yet, because the because the lid is not sealed yet. And guess what? We are coming close to that time that the most high is gonna that's is gonna seal the lid. And once he seal the lid, them ain't them after all Jacob trouble, all hell are gonna break loose, the most high Yahweh is gonna command them angels to release them four winds. 
and the Fort Wayne sent them thermonuclear, them, 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 them thermonuclear missiles. You know what? Let me let me give. I'm gonna close it out right here, cause I I ramble on long enough. I'm gonna close out with this verse. And this for you. And this for you. Uh, you this this for the Israel. It, this for all the uh, two Akims and Akwaf, and this for also your wicked ass Israelites. Revelation chapter twenty two verse eleven. And it, you know, I'm gonna start at verse ten. It said, and he said unto me. Seal not the sense of the prophecy of this book. For the time is at hand. We are at the time now. The prophecy is just coming, coming, and coming, and coming, and coming. Left and right. The prophecy, the, the prophecy is just, just popping off left and right. You know, verse 11. It says, it says that he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. He that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And, and behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to get every man according to, his, according to as his word shall be. Book is closed. And I want to put that point in chapter 11. If you if you being unjust and you still resisting the truth, when your house shall return, you might well continue to resist the truth. Don't try to change your mind because it'd be too fucking late. It'd be too late. Because you heard the truth. You heard the words of Yahweh about Shimei Hashai. You got the prophets out there. You know, that reminds of scripture. When, when the rich man, rich man and Lazarus. And the rich man said, I have five brothers that are still living. Let me, let me, go, and t let me go and warn them about this, this hellish condition. And you know, and you know what uh, Abraham said. You know uh, what uh, what Abraham had said when you when Yahusha, uh was t telling about the rich man Lazarus the parable. You know what he said. He said they had the law and the prophets. Let them hear them. Guess what? You it, it's no excuse. You have the law. You have the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahusha. Yeah, you got the prophet that's breaking down the word. You, 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 and anybody else that's an Israelite, you have no damn excuse. None. So don't come with, don't come at your house shot with all that bullshit. Talking about some way I didn't know. Guess what? You knew. Because Psalm chapter 19, I believe verse 2 through 5, talk about the internet. And the sound went throughout all the earth. No excuse. Prophets on the street corners. Bringing out the truth. Day in and day out. Bringing out lessons. No excuse. When in that time comes, if you're unjust, you unjust, you might always stay unjust. Because it's too late for you. You're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles on this side. Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And thus said Sabah in the scriptures. You know, that's it for a lesson. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rahakadash, double unto the Apostle, Elder, and Prophet who bring this word and says, Say it in truth, risking their lives and freedom to do so, to the hopeful led, to the confusion of faces, and to the Akim and Akwa that are listening and learning. Until next time, Yahweh willing, ha have a blessed Shabbat. Shalom.